How you doing guys, Phantom DCG here, and today I'm going to bring you another deck profile. This is Drytron Invoked, or better known as, like my friends call it, Dragoon and Friends, to be honest. The main purpose is to summon out Dragoons as safe as, as, safe as possible. Uh, and you use the Drytrons with, uh, with Alistair, obviously Alistair. If you already watch my channel since it started, I have done a lot of deck profiles where I feature the Invoke engine. It's one of my favorite engines and I have played basically everything with Alistair. Uh, so yeah, this is kind of my favorite, but prefer the Sky Striker <laughs> uh, Invoke one. Uh, but yeah, this one <laughs> is super amazing. I play tested it against uh Solomon Great uh Trap Tricks and this other deck I forgot on Shane. Those are not meta relevant relevant excuse the mispronunciation but <laughs> this deck literally destroyed annihilated those decks. Uh the Solomon Great player was using a uh, Dragoon of his own. It was a very strange build uh, of Solomon Great uh, but yeah, anyways, like always, the deck profile will be in the description below, so you don't have to watch the entire video, but uh, use my deck profile as a reference, everybody has his own playstyle, and I'll probably explain some combos in another video, and explain the reason why I play certain cards. This, uh, in this video, I will go through the deck as fast as possible, because I don't want this video to be that long, uh, but yeah. Anyway, starting with the monsters, the ritual monsters. This deck is going to be very different from all your other uh, Drytron decks. Because uh, if I'm not mistaken, at the time of making this video, there's like three other people that played uh, in uh, Drytron Invoked. Uh, yeah, they all do summon uh, Dragoon, but they do have the do play. Uh, a small engine with the ritual spells and all that stuff. In this deck, you won't see that. Anyway, starting with the ritual monster, you're playing three copies of Benton and one Saravis. All right, let me explain. This are the only rituals you're going to be playing. You're not playing anything else. Saravis, for those who don't know what it does, when your opponent activates a card that targets a monster, you can discard this card and negate the activation. Uh, Benton is basically fuels your hand it keeps uh your hand in the neutral position uh so you don't you, you still have those cards in your hand so you can discard with uh dragoon uh during your opponent's turn so you have cards to negate this is basically fodder in that way so in a way you can use ben 10 uh this tribute ben 10 to special summon uh Alpha, Alpha 2 Ben. Alpha 2 Ben is going to search for Soravis and then Benton is going to search for another of herself. Or the other target that I'm currently playing that is very good because it does give you access to Nibiru uh, is Chaos Valkyrie that will go and explain later on. That's it for the Ritual Monsters. For the Monsters, for the Drytron Monster we're playing, uh, hopefully I am focused. Yeah, I'm in focus. Playing three alpha two one three gamma and one delta. Uh, this is basically the ratio. Hopefully, my camera is focused on the cards. Uh, because for no reason, uh, they seem unfocused. Hopefully, they're focused right there. All right, alpha two one is one of the monsters that you really want to see your opening hand. Uh, it basically gives you that. Uh, extra negate that is going to be the Saravis or that extra protection against uh, the Praplan Anaconda. Uh, the Gamma is basically to do all the other stuff, uh, bring back monsters, uh, field your uh, your field to summon your Praplan Anaconda or go into other plays like summoning an Alpalooza for 4 or 3. And Alpha 2 when is just there to, I don't know, another name and to summon... Sorry, not to summon and to draw one extra card. Obviously it's another target, so your, your opponent might get a little bit distracted with this card right here. Uh, now we're playing the Alistair's 
uh, this is self-explanatory and Alistair in every deck he is being played he must have a waifu and the waifu for this deck is the Chaos Valkyrie uh, Chaos Valkyrie is the one monster you're going to be searching with Ben 10 uh, her effect is that you can banish one light or dark monster from your graveyard, special summon her. She cannot be normal summon or set, so it does not uh, mess with the Drytron monsters, so she's actually very, very good. Uh, obviously, she's searchable, that's something I explained. And the other effect that b uh, it suits, well, not suits, it's basically a build up for the next turn if you're going first. Her effect, her second effect is that if she is banished, uh, you can foolish burrow one uh, light or dark monster. So let's say you open uh, Alpha and Alistair and a Benton. That's basically your, the proper combo. Obviously, you have a lot of ways to search this guys right here. Uh, so you are basically have the full combo. Uh, your Chaos Valkyrie will ditch your Gamma for n the next turn because you cannot use the effect of Gamma sadly the turn it's sent to the graveyard due to Valkyrie's effect but it's a very good build because you're going to end up with a Makaba and a Dragoon on the field obviously Dragoon cannot be targeted it cannot be destroyed by card effects so it must be uh, ran down by a lot of cards and you have a lot of cards in your hand so you have that extra you have Mikaba on the field that extra negate and if your opponent doesn't do anything the Sorab is going to be there to annoy your opponent in a lot of ways so that's it for the monsters that you'll be summoning now for the hand traps we're playing one Nibiru and one Diddy Crow all right to be honest these cards right here they're very good they're searchable in the deck uh, and it's more to give fear to your opponent. You're not going to be using them that much. Uh, obviously, they're one-ups. In case you open one of them, you just use them and that's it. But they're searchable. And it's a way to mislead your opponent. Since, for example, if you add your Diddy Crow, your opponent knows that you have a Diddy Crow. But on top of that, you have the Dragoon on the field. So the Diddy Crow can be used... Uh, for Dragoon or to banish one card on, on their graveyard. Uh, same thing with uh, with Nibiru, uh, but so on, so on, so on. Nibiru, it's kind of those cards that uh, if you know your opponent is playing a combo deck, you can just search your Nibiru, your opponent knows that uh, you have a Nibiru, so if your opponent gets rid of your Dragoon or and your Mekaba, you can just go ahead and summon your Nibiru because you already searched it. It's basically a backup plan. Uh, next, we're playing the one Red Eyes and the one Dark Magician in here. And for the Hand Traps, we're playing obviously the Zombie Girl in here. Three copies of Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring. The last hand trap is impermanence, but I will show you. Well, let me kill that. I'm playing two impermanence. I wanted to play three copies, but I don't seem to find the space. I was thinking of getting rid of the Delta to put the third copy of the infinite impermanence, but I'm still debating on the, uh, on doing that. But having a trap card is so so good because if your opponent is going to be playing a lot of uh. A heavy back row deck having at least one trap card to negate with your Mikaba and then banish it it's kind of okay obviously impermanence can negate the whole column if you set it but it kind of depends I really prefer uh, keeping this card in my hand and if I'm going uh, second and I obviously draw your impermanence it's actually a very good uh, card so yeah Anyways, for the spell cards, uh, let me readjust my camera there, because I kind of moved it around. And with my extra deck, there we go. Uh, for the spell cards, we're playing uh, 3 Nova. This is kind of the way you bring out your Alpha Tuban, or any Drytron monster that you need. Uh, so you basically have six copies of each Drytron. Let's say, for example, 10, 11, because I'm playing the one Fafnir. Uh, so you kind of have ways to access your Drytron monsters. That's not that's the reason why I'm not playing Cyber Emergency. Uh, I prefer summoning into the uh, to the field, 
using it as a material, summoning Link Rebo. If I'm going second, summon uh, the Relinquish one, uh, Relinquish Anima. Uh, disrupt my opponent and then obviously revive it with discarding Ben 10 or something. Uh, now the search for Ben 10 is going to be pre preparation, uh, sorry, preparation of rights. This, this thing searches your Sauravis too. So if for X or Y reason you decide to go with Ben 10, Ben 10. Uh, or you just went Ben 10 something else, or you have Gamma and didn't have two Ben to search your, uh, your Saravis, this can search for Saravis. It can mislead your opponent in a lot of ways, because this has multiple targets, Not it's not going to be the Ben 10 only. So your opponent might have, you, you can play with your, your, with your opponent's mind sometimes. Uh, let's see, let's put it in here so you can see it. Now obviously, three uh, Magical Meltdown, and two copies of Invocation. Hopefully the glare, yeah, the glare is a little bit annoying. So I have to manage to work with the, my light. Uh, this is all explanatory, I won't go into much detail with the uh, Meltdown and stuff. I'm playing with one Fafnir. Uh, search your Dryton uh, Nova, uh, but the reason why I'm playing one is because I'm playing one terraforming. In some cases, I want to tin out my deck. Uh, if I have Meltdown and terraforming, I just go for Fafnir. Fafnir activate to uh, search for the Nova. I already got rid of like how much two extra cards. Then activate Meltdown, search your uh, Alistair in the Invocation. Tins the deck uh, easy, uh, it faster and stuff. Uh, and <laughs> like I said, I prefer Nova over Cyber Emer Emergency just because I just bring it to the field and use it as a material for Anima or something else. Uh, the next thing, <laughs> the one Red Eyes Fusion, one Foolish Burial. Uh, the Foolish, it's kind of same thing, mislead your opponent. Uh, I have use foolish world to uh send alistair to do uh invocation uh it's just to mislead your opponent in a lot of ways uh and then i play with the one call by the grave so in case your opponent goes bananas you can just you know call by the grave that extra interruption on your turn now for uh the extra deck we're playing the one dragoon only playing one i don't know why you will need more uh, two copies of Mikawa. The second one comes sometimes. Uh, next we have the backup plan. Uh, the I'm not gonna try to <laughs> translate that card. It's in Spanish, sadly. But obviously, let's say CS. That's it. Attack directly, summon CS, and that's it. But I mainly go into this chick right here because I search for Diddy Crow. Uh, and if my opponent he kind of doesn't know what's going to happen it's like yeah you have a dd crow uh what gives i'm just summoning the, the cs on top of it and that's it now the card that's searching for nibiru is going to be the uh gallon granite there's uh there's one variant of the combo where you summon valkyrie and your alistair you overlay them into giant granite uh search for your uh nibiru and then use uh him and the Oh crap! I forgot the Alpha Tube, and you're mainly going to have in the field. Summon Praplan and Aconda, and you have uh, Anibir in your hand. Uh, I think that's it for non-Link monsters. Now for a Link monster, I'm playing the one uh, Phoenix, the one Unicorn. Cross Sheep is a card that can be something else. So I'm gonna put it in here. So it's a card that you can play. It's actually very good. But the only monster that you will be summoning is going to be the Chaos Valkyrie. If you don't banish it with uh, with Invocation. Uh, we got uh, the Anima with the Link Karibo. Uh, the Man, the only the Legend, the Planet Planet, Verde Anaconda. Uh, the Appaloosa, Boros Sword. I never summon him. You can play uh, Access Code Talker if you want. Uh, same thing with this. You can change the ratios. Uh, sometimes here and there, but to be honest, uh, my Kava with uh, with Dragoon is way, way too broken. So uh, there's kind of no way to summon your Opalusa. So this can be something else. 
uh, and obviously your token in case you're playing against a whiny baby that doesn't want you to use your Bell Delphine uh, cards. Uh, so yeah. Anyways, that's it for the deck profile. Like always, like I always say, is you use my deck profile as a reference. Everybody has his own way of playing the deck. Uh, this deck, as of now, <laughs> like I always say, or like each YouTuber say, it's kind of my favorite deck at the moment. I give it a lot of top process and stuff. Uh, and in the next video, I will show you the combo and the reason why I play certain cards and the ratios, like I did with my shadow uh, de shot uh, shadow deck, uh, showing. Uh, like this search of this and that and blah 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 so you want to see that video you can just go ahead like the video subscribe uh, and put something in the comments so let me know uh, what can I get rid of this cards uh, sometimes the feedback I actually read them uh, and you know the support and all that stuff anyways guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this video like like I said uh, a couple of minutes ago or seconds ago uh, like subscribe thanks for the support and hope you guys enjoy this sacrifice and peace